Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest on the weather warnings that we do have some very heavy rain and big thunderstorms coming over the next few days. We have four consecutive days now of weather warnings upgraded significantly since yesterday's video and we, uh, we have a look at the, uh, at the details on this rain and thunderstorm risk. Now do remember if you enjoyed my videos make sure you like and subscribe and do remember to follow me on Twitter as well, link is in the description. So yesterday we saw that there was a thunderstorm warning issued on Friday um, throughout the day into the afternoon. It has now been extended this thunderstorm warning into Saturday morning. It's been extended further northwards as well. Through Thursday we've seen a thunderstorm warning be issued for Northern Ireland and there is a rain warning in force right now across Northern England and, and parts of the Northwest. So we've got a lot of... Um, warnings around potentially some very disruptive conditions across this area in northern england we've had some big thunderstorms further southwards but it looks like it's now time for the north to be getting the brunt of these storms now of course areas outside of this yellow warning or these yellow warning over the next few days will see storms will see heavy rain just has a little lower risk at this stage so we do have a look at the first yellow warning it does expire in a couple hours time um and there are some severe um thunderstorms breaking out in a few locations at the moment um, in sort of a little band across a convergent zone and it has produced a lot of rain today in some regions now there could be a little bit of surface water flooding um, but they are very localized at this stage along that line and this does expire tonight if we have a look at the warning on thursday there is a thunderstorm warning out over across northern ireland and you can see, and we'll have a look at the radar in a minute you can already see there are some storms and some rain breaking out as the low pressure is coming in off the atlantic so we could be seeing some big thunderstorms tomorrow in northern Northern Ireland, persistent rain in the morning as we see weather fronts moving through and then 30 to 40 millimetres in three or four hours or maybe a 10 to 20 in an hour and then across the whole sort of day or afternoon between 40 and 50 millimetres and it could give some disruption. Showers will continue through the evening but uh, overnight and overnight but easing uh, in intensity. So it's high impact but low likely at this stage so um, pretty confident some storms are going to break out with some impacts um, but it's uh, not particularly they're not particularly confident exactly where they're going to come out in this warning zone. If we now have a look at the main storm risk for Friday and Saturday for a wide area, Northern Ireland, Northern England to Southern Scotland, all the way down to Northern Wales and the Midlands. You see slow moving thundery downpours may call, cause localised surface water flooding. Now it is issued for Saturday as well but it does expire Saturday morning so there will still be showers and storms around all the way until Saturday morning and even through Saturday there's still showers and storms around um, just not quite as likely as it's a little bit far away so I do suspect there could be more warnings issued for Saturday afternoon and Sunday as well as we'll have a look at the latest model data in a minute but if we do go through the further details in a minute you can see the extension of the warning to Saturday included the Scottish Central Belt so moved up into Scotland. Heavy showers will break um, across most of the UK with a warning area. These Within the warning area, these showers and thunderstorms will be slow moving, may cause localised surface water impacts. It is going to be the rainfall totals that are going to be the biggest issue with this. Potential for 20 to 30 millimetres of rain in a short period of time and as much as 80 to 100 millimetres. We'll have a look at the Cape charts in a minute and they give you a good indication of why we're going to be seeing heavy rainfall and not necessarily the big sort of lightning um, displays we have seen in the south but we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute and of course it is high impact low likelihood at this stage um, as uh, as it's uh, it's so difficult to forecast the exact convective nature and um, at this stage give still a few days away um, we'll just have to see where they do crop up so I suspect there could even be an amber warning put in force for this um, uh, in the next day or two and um, we'll just have to see what the models do so if we do have a look at the live radar you can see at the moment we've got those heavy showers and a few isolated thunderstorms which is um within that yellow warning zone uh, for rain elsewhere you can see weather fronts moving in you can see a few showers and thunderstorms breaking out in northern ireland as low pressure is moving eastwards it's making very slow progress at this stage but it will break through through thursday and friday so that's why we have that yellow warning across northern ireland but things will be turning more unsettled over the next couple of days areas in the south and east may get another decent day tomorrow uh, with still a few showers around um, but it does look like by friday all areas will be in the in the wind rain and thunderstorms if we now firstly have a look at the wrf we'll have a look at the cape charts and this gives a good indication of the sort of storms we'll be seeing 
Um, so you can see we've got very low uh, K per at the moment. That's why we're seeing only really pop-up storms in a few localised positions. And then for Thursday, you can see there are is a storm risk comes, um, of course, into Ireland, Northern Ireland, with some Cape building. Um, and that's why we have that yellow warning across Northern Ireland. And then through Friday, we see the weather fronts moving through and then the showers taking off. And you can see there is a lot of Cape in that yellow warning zone through eastern areas down even into East Anglia in the southeast as well, parts of South Wales got some Cape, but it's not significant Cape. Um, we've seen um, some Cape in the southeast when we've had storms recently, getting up to around 1,600 or 1,800 uh, joules per kilogram. Whereas here, it's only getting up to around 1,200 or maybe around 1,000 in a few locations. Um, and that's why these storms are mainly going to be high precipitation, um, heavy showers with lightning strikes, when it's not going to be these massive lightning strikes, uh, li lightning storms where we do see um, strikes every five or ten seconds that we can see this time of year. It's going to be that rainfall that is going to be the issue. So if we do continue to run through Friday's run, you can see the Cape eventually moves out into the North Sea through Saturday, but some more comes in for the South and the East through Saturday. And that's why I say there's potential for Saturday afternoon we could see another yellow warning put in force for, for the East and the Southeast for more storms. Uh, and we'll have to see whether the Met Office updates that tomorrow or Friday. If we do have a look at the raw precipitation charts, um, you can see... At the moment, we do have those showers breaking out, and you see the weather fronts moving into Scotland overnight tonight, um, into tomorrow morning, and then showers and thunderstorms breaking out across Northern Ireland, um, and you can see weather fronts moving in from the west, reaching all areas by sort of Thursday evening, before spreading through, and with areas turning a little bit dry through Friday morning, before the thunderstorms and showers start breaking out widely through Friday afternoon, and you can see severe thunderstorms taking off in Northern Ireland, into central Scotland, all ac across the northeast and east uh, eastern parts of northern England, down into East Anglia as well. And elsewhere, there's still a lot of showers around. It's just where those are where the big thunderstorm is going to be. And there is a convergence zone along that. And if we do briefly have a look at that convergence zone, um, if we do run through quickly until Friday afternoon, you can see where those winds coming in from the west meet winds coming up from the south. And that's why we've got those storm um, having a higher risk on that eastern side of the country. So if we do finish going through the precipitation charts, if we do run all the way through to Saturday morning, sea showers do start to dissipate, um, but still potentially in the north before by Saturday afternoon, showers taking off widely once again. And we could be seeing through the afternoon as that cape picks up in the east for more severe storms for the south and southeast. So it's looking pretty intense um, over the next few days. So do stay safe out there. And if you have got plans through Friday and Saturday, you just need to stay weather aware. Keep an eye on the radar as it does look like there's going to be a lot of showers and thunderstorms around. If we now have a look at the icon run, if we do run through, you can see um, those showers uh, through Northern Ireland into Western areas um, tomorrow afternoon, spreading through all areas by around 6 p.m., so a little bit ahead of the WRF. And WRF had it through around 8 or 9 p.m. Those weather fronts eventually key by early morning Friday before more showers take off, especially in the north. A lot of heavy rain in that yellow warning zone in Northern Ireland as well. Still showers further southwards, but just not quite an intensity. You can see where the centre of the low is, just across, um, just to the west of Scotland. And eventually those showers will move through, but you can still see some intense thunderstorms packing in off the Irish Sea. Um, likely to be streamer sort of um, showers building up, and then of course with those streamers, thunderstorms um, popping off. So it does, as I said, it does look like it's going to be a very much a rainful event. But of course, thunderstorms bring that heavy rain, but it also could be some lightning strikes, some hail, um, and some other gusty winds. So not only will it be heavy rain, but there will be some other risks. It's just heavy rain, probably the biggest one at this stage. Beyond that, you see those showers really pick up through Saturday, especially in the south and across Scotland again. And then through Sunday, more showers break out, but not quite as widespread um, as we had on Saturday and Friday. A few in Scotland and Northern England, elsewhere a little bit drier. If we have a look at the precipitation accumulations, you can see around three inches plus of worth of rain potentially across the prone areas of 
north of England into Scotland as well, where we're going to see those heavy rain and those thunderstorms, and especially as well across Northern Ireland as we've got that heavy rain tomorrow and thunderstorms as well moving through the next few days. So it's looking pretty disruptive further northwards. For the south, still a risk of storms and showers, but it's really looking like it's the north's turn to be seeing these big thunderstorms that have just been relentless um, so far this summer. If we now have a look through the UK Met Office run, you can see um, we do have showers spreading in from the west over the next um, sort of few hours or so. And they eventually will clear uh, clear through, um, especially North Scotland. And then the weather fronts come through in from the west. And then by tomorrow evening around um, sort of mid-afternoon, it's really 4, 5, four, five 6 p.m., um, we do see those weather fronts spread eastwards, eventually clearing with heavy showers coming in behind. And you can just see through um, Friday afternoon, if we focus in on the north, you see those showers really packing in. Further south would still, of course, some showers, but just not quite as severe. Those showers eventually dying away a little bit in the evening, but still there across northern England and Scotland for another day of heavy showers packing in from the west. And on this UK Mesoist run, it does die down a little bit through Sunday and Monday, but there's still a lot of showers. And of course, there will be some isolated thunderstorms around as well. So it is looking very, very unsettled over the next few days. And it's not looking encouraging you've got any big plans for the outdoors over the next sort of four or five days. If we now go through the longer term outlook, if we go through the GFS, uh, the uh, ESMWF and the GFS ensembles. So you can see at the moment we've got that low pressure coming off the Atlantic over the next few days, spiralling in those showers and thunderstorms sort of sitting across the UK over Scotland as the jet stream sort of detaches from this area of low pressure and the low pressure just sort of sits there. Eventually it does get swept away. Um, and we do see more low pressure arrive for Tuesday the 10th, trying to push in. Um, and eventually it does clear through Scotland, but it's quite so it's trying to get squeezed out by high pressure. And by the end of the run, we're seeing northerly winds come in around, well, around day 10, of the, so the end of the reliable time frame. Northerly winds come in, back in. And you can see that sort of heat wave we were potentially looking at is, is not coming off really on this operational run. It'll be interesting to see what the ECWF and the ensemble show. But beyond that, see high pressure coming in and, in and out, of course, and by 300 and 84 hours we do have southeasterly winds coming in and this would be heat wave like conditions um with the 20 degree isotherm getting close to the south so it is showing heat wave conditions right um uh, right at the end of the run but at this stage um we'll just really have to keep an eye on that as it's not really getting to the shorter time frame at this stage um so Oh, it's going to be a little bit um, of a head scratcher seeing if this sort of warmer spell in the middle of August does come off. If we have a look at the ECMWF, it only goes out to 192 hours at the moment as, as um, it's still updating, but that's probably good enough for now. Um, you can see those low pressure move through, and then as we head towards sort of day eight, day nine, we see that low pressure coming in by Thursday, the 12th of August. And although it will be dragging up some hotter air from the south, the east which could give a couple hot days potentially get open to the mid to high 20s it does look like it will be bringing in further rain further showers and probably as it hits into that hot and humid air maybe some more thunderstorms of course um uh, coming in for the middle of next week so it doesn't look like these this thunderstorm risk is going anywhere yet I know some people who do love thunderstorms have not really seen a lot um, so far this summer. There have been a lot of thunderstorms around, but they have been focused in quite a few locations. But it's looking like the, it's the north's turn over the next few days. But really anywhere could be seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms. So just need to keep an eye out for that. And I know, of course, some people hate thunderstorms and just want dry and hot weather. But unfortunately, it's not looking too encouraging for you at this stage. If we finally have a look at the GFS ensembles, you can see over the next four or five days, temperatures are below average with those westerly winds, with a lot of unsettled conditions, a lot of convective showers moving in, and you can see a lot of rainfall spikes showing um, bands of showers moving through. So looking like there's going to be a lot of rain around, regardless of where you are in the UK, just the north is going to be seeing um, the higher heightened risk of thunderstorms but as we head towards around, around the 11th 12th of august you can see temperatures do trend above average you see the gfs operation run is a little bit wavy there it's a little bit of an outlier of course 
but it's not a massive outlier. There are plenty of ensemble members still having some cooler air coming in, around average or below average, but there are, of course, a majority going for a bit above average um, and drier conditions. You guys can see it is generally drier in the longer term. Not all ensemble members showing, uh, showing no rainfall, but quite a few are showing very minimal to none. Beyond that, as we head towards sort of 16th to 20th of August, you can see temperatures, again, around average, maybe spiking to erupt uh, above average towards the end. Um, but again, a lot of scatter, so it's very uncertain at this stage. So not looking encouraging pot and dry fans. For all those thunderstorm fans out there, it's looking like there's going to be a very big chance over the next uh, sort of week or so. Um, and it's not going to be great for any outdoor plans at this stage. So... Hopefully everyone does stay safe out in these storms. There will be some flooding around in some prone prone areas. Some areas are going to be uh, get a little bit of damage and maybe some flooding from this. So just make sure you do stay safe out there. Uh, and do remember to keep an eye on the Met Office warnings. And I'll be updating you on my channel every day um, about this risk. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.